Hi, this is Seema and I am back with a new lesson on WH questions. Well, what are WH questions? Questions which are asked to get a specific response or to derive certain information are WH questions. In other words, if you want to get some information about someone or something, you always, always have to ask a WH question. So what kinds of WH questions are there? The first one is the question when. The question when always is asked when you want to know the time of a particular event. So whenever you want to know the time a particular thing occurs, that's when you ask the question when. For example, you could say when is the meeting? If you are a school student, you could say, when is the next class? When is the next test? So it always talks about time. So when you want to get information about the time of a particular event, that's when you always use the word when. Our next WH question talks about place. And whenever you want to know the place, you always use the WH question called where. So I could say, where is the main shop? Or where is the restaurant? Or where is Starbucks? So when you want to know the place, you will always use the word where. And then you have a question called who. This is always to know about a person or people. So you, you use the question who when you are talking about a singular person or people, which would be the plural form of a person. So I could say, who are they? So I'm talking about people, the plural. I could say, who is the boy wearing green? Who is he? That's when I talk about a singular person. And that's where you use the word who to know about a person or to know about people. Our next question is the question why. When do I use why? A lot of times we need to get a reason as to why something happened. And that is when you use the word, the question why. So I could say, why is she always late or why did you not come earlier or why did you cook fish for dinner today so you always want a reason and that's when you use the word or the question why our next wh question is what now the question what always denotes or gives you information about an object an idea or an action. So let's deal with each of these parts at a time. So if I'm talking about an object, I could say, what is she doing? Or what is she eating? We're talking about a specific thing that a person is doing. So it could be an object or an action. Or I could say, what is the plan? I talk about an idea. So I could say, what is she doing when I talk about an action? Or I could say, what is the plan for today when I talk about an idea? So what talks about an object, an idea or an action? And then we have the question, which? A very important WH question because it talks about things in particular. So I could say, which subjects do you take this year? So when I want to get information about things or uh, which, which colors would you prefer? So we talk about things or we get information about things 
when we ask the question starting with a which? Well, now that we've looked at several WH questions, let's look at another question called how, which is also used to derive information or to seek specific information. It is used in many ways. The first method or the first way that you would use the word HOW or the word how is to know the manner or the method of doing something. So if I were to ask you how do you draw how do you go to work or how do you commute to work? I am talking about a manner or method that you use to go to work. So you could tell me I drive to work or I take the train or I take the bus or I take a cab. So how in a way denotes the manner or the method of doing something. Our next question, the same question uh, using the word how could talk about the price which is non-countable. So I always would use how followed by a much when I'm talking about the price or the amount of something. So I could say how much did you pay for the dress? So I'm talking about the price or the amount or how much did you pay for the shoes? All right. On the other hand, I will use a how followed by the word many when I'm talking about a specific quantity. So here I don't talk about the price. I talk about the quantity. So I could say how many shoes did you buy? Or I could say how many books did you read? So I'm talking about a quantity which is very specific and therefore it is countable. Now you can also use the word how followed by the word long when you are talking about the duration or in other words you are talking about the time period during which something happens. So I could say how long did it take you to travel from Dubai? So your answer could be it took me two hours or four hours. So we are talking about the time period or the duration. Or you could say how long did it take you to finish this lesson? It could be two hours, three hours or maybe five hours. And our next expression using the word how the next question using the word how when it is followed by the word far we are always talking about the distance I mean the physical distance so I can say how far is the local bakery from your house or how far do you live from the airport so we're talking about the physical distance between two specific areas well, that's it for me on this lesson on WH questions. Well, it's time to see how much you've learned. So please click onto the link in the description at the end of this video and let me know how much you've scored. Until then, this is me saying goodbye.